In this session, I'm going to explain how to use charts, how to create and use charts in Excel 2013. So let's say we have some data. The data can be very simple, like a bunch of three categories, for example, with three types of sales. And we want to represent this data in a more visual way. And because if you look at this data by just numbers, it's probably not as meaningful for you to identify what's happening. So what you do to create a chart for this data is you simply select the range that has the data. For example, with the labels, it's helpful usually to include the labels. For example, we are saying here boomerangs, there were 22,000 in-store sales, this many online mail order sales, this many, and so on, toys, and so on. So you don't want to include the additional fields that probably are not useful to be represented in a chart. So we go under insert after we have selected the text and then we go here under charts. Now, in this case, and this is new in Office 2013, there are also recommended charts and these are recommended charts that supposedly Microsoft considers that might be more beneficial than other types of charts. Now, uh, and it's true, in this case, probably bar chart would work better than a pie chart. Uh, usually the pie charts, you'd use them in, calcul in anything that is against 100%, where you have the different slices of the pie to make it more visual and stand out. But if you're using different ranges of numbers and so on, then you probably you want a bar chart. If you have a lot of data like that is fluctuating up and down, like for example the stock market and so on, for a longer period of time, in that case probably you want a line chart, and I'll explain the line charts. You'll probably see an example in a moment here. So to get back, we have the selected data. We click on recommended charts, and Microsoft in this case is giving us some recommended options. The most common ones would probably be these two top ones. So you click OK. And now notice it, it embedded the chart somewhere around the data. Now in this case, the best thing for you to do is actually move this out of the way and park it wherever. You can resize it by using those handles. And notice at this point what another thing that has happened, or actually before I go to that, notice here in the bottom you have the in-store sales are in blue. You have the web sales, which are in red, and the mail order sales are in green. By simply looking at these numbers, it was not as visual, but notice here the in-store or the boomerangs, they are selling better via mail order. Toys are selling better through a mail order as well, overall. But yet, kites are selling better through the website. So you can come up to conclusions based on the data representation in this case. So now let me get back to the other item here. Notice that on the very top here you have also two new tabs that opened up. That is the chart tools or the contextual tools that showed up in the context of what we were doing here. Now in this case what you can do with that is that you can change the colors Notice you have different color schemes, and this is quite helpful. It's somewhat new in 2013. You can change the different type of chart and the, the, how the data. Notice the live preview, how the data is going to look. So again, these are some enhancements, and that's why you pay the money for the newer versions of Excel. And then you can also notice there are other fancier ones as well. And then uh, there are also different uh, types of formats that you can apply, like you can customize uh, each component uh, to be a different color as well, if you prefer to do so. Now, you can also change a column, the data area, you can modify it, change the chart type and moving the chart, and then additional types of layouts. So if you wanted to represent here, and this is what I was looking for, 
is a quick layout options where you can have the data or the values represented as part of the chart. Now, when you're working with charts, it's important to make it to bring out what you want to demonstrate rather than having too much information in your charts in there. For example, that would be too busy. Notice the information on the right hand side there. Now, in this case, notice you have the lines added to it. In this other case, you actually have the data right below the chart as well. So that might be helpful in giving a better understanding as to what's happening where. So that's one type of chart. That's the, the bar chart that you just saw. Uh, there are other charts as well. If you go here and you could have data very similar to this. So you select it again and you go under insert and you can either pick a chart depending on how you like it and what you want manually here under the charts or you can again use the recommended charts. So let's see the recommended. Notice in this case it's line chart or a bar chart or another type of line chart. So pick any of them that you want. Click OK and notice that was the best one that Microsoft determined that would work in your environment depending on the data that you have. And again, you can change that to however you like it. For this other one, you again pick the data and then you go under insert. Again, you could try recommended charts. And in that case, it's giving you a couple of varieties here because it's only four items. It's four quarters for the whole year. So this would probably be applied through the pie chart here. But again, it's uh, you'll notice here it's, they are pretty very much equal to each other. So maybe still in this case, one of those other charts would be more effective to point out which quarter had the best earnings. Okay. And then, of course, you have another type here. You could have charts very similar to this, where you have two sets of data and you can compare each set of data, revenue versus expenses, in one bar. Again, it's just a matter of playing with all of these different options and what data represents what you want to demonstrate and what looks more visual. And of course, there are also scattered charts too, but in this case, you'll probably not really use this that much. You want something like that. And that's an example of a line chart. During the stock market, how it fluctuates, you use the line chart and then pie charts for other functionality and bar charts as needed. But the idea is that you create them the same way you manipulate them the same way, double click on the chart and then go and tinker with all of these different options, format it differently, customize it, change the design of it and make it bring out the data and what you're trying to prove.